17th, we'll be having the pancake breaks from 7 a.m. to 10.30, is that right? 10.30 a.m. Uh, Bible school is June the 7th through the 11th, so go ahead and mark your calendars for that. Vacation Bible School, June the 7th through the 11th, and on that Sunday, on the 6th, that evening, we're going to have kickoff, and we're going to just go into this thing with a bang. And uh, so remember that, that'll be from 6 o'clock to 8.30 that week. Volunteers are needed, so you can uh, see, uh, I guess, uh, Nick and uh, whoever, uh, and, and for to sign up to volunteer that. Then, I want you to mark your calendar for May the 5th through the 8th. If you haven't already, we are having our spring seed time revival camp meeting that week. May the 5th through the 8th at 6 o'clock each night. Brother Gordon Berry is going to be here preaching. And you're not going to want to miss, I feel in my spirit, we're going to experience a move of God in that revival. Hallelujah. I, I mean, I, I really, I'm not trying to build you up to come. I'm telling you what I really feel. We're going to have a Holy Ghost good time that week. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so make your plans for that. Hallelujah. I tell you what, I'm ready to have church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Let's stand on the building. Let's go to the Lord prayer. Good to see each one of you. We love each one of you today. Anytime you need prayer through this service, uh, uh, you, you know that the altar is open. Somebody will pray with you. Somebody will be here to pray with you and pray for you. But it's the Holy Spirit that does the work. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you can come anytime you need prayer this morning. Don't worry about what's going on. Don't let the devil talk you out of it. Coming and praying, getting things right. If you need to get it right, come on. Hallelujah. If you need to now, come on. Glory to God. And so uh, we welcome you today if you're visiting and, uh, and, and be with us this, this afternoon. We're going to have a great time. I see my good brother Garfield coming up the stairs. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so I know Joyce ain't too far behind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ain't it good to be in God's house this morning? in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus. Lord, as we come before you today, we praise you and thank you, Lord, for all your goodness and your mercy and your grace and your love towards us. Lord, we know without you we have nothing and we are nothing and we can do nothing. But God, we know that if we can just get a touch of the Holy Spirit, Lord, we know today we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And Lord, I ask you to to move in this service in a mighty way. Uh, Lord, we ask you to pour out your spirit upon us. Uh, Lord, I pray that you pour out, uh, Lord, the blessings. Uh, Lord, they let them rain down from heaven. Uh, oh, God, we ask you today, uh, let that fountain open up, God. Uh, let that fountain head open up and spring up, God, uh, and flow through this place in a mighty way. Uh, God, I pray for every heart and every life. Uh, I pray for every soul in this place. Uh, I pray for that are sick, Lord. I pray for those on the bed of affliction. God, we ask you for your mighty healing to come down and touch their bodies, God. And Lord, we ask you to touch those that are lost without you, never been saved. I pray today, God, if they're being here among us, that Lord, you begin to touch their heart and convict them to make them realize, God, Lord, that they can be saved, that you will save them. Lord, uh, if they'll just call upon your mighty name. Uh, Lord, we ask you to bless us this service, God. Uh, we ask you to fill our hearts. Uh, fill us with the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and Lord, today let you, Lord, let your spirit just move in this place uh, in a mighty way. Anoint the music, the singing, uh, anoint the preaching, everything that's done, God. Uh, let it be all be done to your glory. And we ask it all in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, and all God's people say. Amen. 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 Let me ask you this morning. Yeah, if you believe God's a prayer hearing, pray that to the Lord. Just give him a great big praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just remain standing if you can. Hallelujah. Page 28. Page 28, the old blue back here. 
Sing from your heart this morning. Praise to the Lord. Hallelujah.
And uh, the Bible tells me where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yes, and we have liberty and freedom in the Lord this morning. That's why there's nobody on the face of this planet can ever tell you you can't praise the Lord. Right. There's nobody on the face of this planet that right. can ever tell you to keep quiet. Hallelujah. Right. Because we got a right to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Right. And there ain't no demon, there ain't no government official, there ain't nobody that can tell you to hold back your praise. Hallelujah. Right. Because you got a right to praise Him this morning. And Teresa, come on back to the piano. I can't leave it alone, hallelujah. I tell you, we, we make it to the message we made up. Hallelujah. All right. I tell you, I just, I've made up my mind. I don't know how they've made up their mind. I'm on my way to heaven, hallelujah. And there's nothing going to stop me. There ain't nothing going to turn me around. There ain't nothing going to turn me around. I'm going to keep on pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Because we're looking at Jesus, because he's the author, he's the finisher of our faith, hallelujah, and today, God know, I know the other side of that, if he's brought us this far, he's going to take us all the way, hallelujah, well, so many times we go to church, sit there on the pew, and some of us believe, that's all we're supposed to do, Hallelujah. Turn up in the Deuteronomy 
chapter 8. Praise the Lord, Deuteronomy chapter 8. We'll begin in verse 1. The Bible says God was speaking through Moses and said all the commandments which I command thee this day shall you observe to do that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember and I want you to hold on to that word remember for just a few moments. He said, Thou shalt remember yeah. all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness uh -huh. to humble you and to prove you or test you, to know what was in thy heart, whether thou wouldest yeah. keep his commandments or no. And he humbled you and suffered you to hunger oh, yeah. and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make you know that man does not live by bread only, yes. uh -huh. but by every word yes. that proceedeth out of the mouth of God yes. doth man live. Thy raiment wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his son, yes. so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Amen. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God yes. to walk in his ways oh, yes. and to fear him. I, I felt like the Lord was stirring in my heart yesterday morning on a message. And I felt like the Lord was saying, I want you to go in the morning and... I want you to stir up the people's remembrance. Stir up their remembrance, hallelujah, of how good God has been. And I want to preach for a few moments on the subject, hasn't God been good? Amen. Hasn't God been good? Hallelujah. Just like he was good to the children of Israel in the 40 years that they wandered in the wilderness. He's been good to me and you. Hallelujah. How many can say he's been good to me? Amen. for your anointing. I'm asking you for your presence, for your power, Lord, yes, Lord. upon me. God, I don't need any recognition or Lord, acknowledgement to myself, but God, I just want you to be seen. I want you to be beautified. I want you to be glorified. I want you to be magnified, Lord. God, use me as your vessel this morning uh, to speak as your oracle. Uh, and God, you would flow, flow through me, Lord. Uh, and God, I'm asking you to anoint the ears of every hero that's here today uh, that they may hear your word uh, yes. and be touched. Uh, and God, I pray if there's any lost souls here, God, uh, I pray that they recognize your goodness. Uh, Lord, your word says it's your goodness that brings repentance. Uh, and so, Lord, I'm asking you this morning uh, that they may see your goodness, God, uh, and Lord, that they'll repent and turn to you and be saved uh, before it's everlasting too late. Uh, and we ask it all in the mighty name uh, of Jesus Christ uh, and all God's people said, Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Hasn't God been good? Uh, amen. I'm going to ask you to give the Lord one more big praise for his word. Hallelujah. For his mighty word. For men cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds. As I told you a while ago, the Lord spoke to me. He said, I want you to stir up the people's remembrance. I know how it is a lot of times you go through this yeah. life. As you live in this life and you walk through this life. And we walk through the wilderness of this world. I know how it is sometimes when yeah. things can go good. Things can be going good. And you forget about how good God has been in the past. Hallelujah. Sometimes it takes trouble to bring us back to remembrance uh, of what God did for us. It's a shame it does that sometimes. Uh, but let me tell you today, uh, when we remember God's faithfulness uh, of what he did in the past, uh, you know what it'll do? Uh, it'll give us assurance for the future. Amen. Knowing that what God did back then, uh, he can do again. Uh, knowing what he did back then, hallelujah. In my life about 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, knowing that God has not changed and he can do it today and he can do it tomorrow he just sang yesterday today and forevermore I'm telling you this morning God is good Amen. Amen. Glory to God that means 
over ourselves. Uh, the goodness that God has shown us, hallelujah, in our life. Uh, we ought to be mindful. We ought to think on these things, hallelujah. We ought to recall them in our memory. Uh, hallelujah. We ought to acknowledge uh, what God has done for us. Uh, he's been good to us. Uh, and let me say this morning. Uh, you may hear me say it many times. Uh, hasn't God been good? Uh, or let me tell you, that's not a question this morning. That's a statement. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you think about the children of Israel, how God brought them out of Egypt, how he redeemed them and brought them out of slavery. I think about many times how God brought me out of Egypt, how he brought me out of sin slavery. I think many times back somebody said, well, we get tired of hearing your testimony. Well, that's all right. You might all just settle in and get used to it. Because I'm never going to quit telling about what Jesus did for me. Egypt. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. They went out with their shoes on their feet. You know what? They wore the same shoes for 40 years. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. And you don't see the significance in that. Uh, but in the natural, you know, some of the shoes I got don't last a year. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Somebody would say, well, in the natural, uh, that can't be so. Well, we're not walking in the natural. Hallelujah. We're walking by faith. I said, I said, listen, I'm not only, I don't only love him, 
I'm in love with him. Come on, amen. 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 Somebody, that must have went over somebody's head. Amen. Come on. Say it again. I've said it so many times before. You know, I love everybody. But there ain't but one lady I'm in love with. Amen. Right. And I love everybody. I'm telling you what. When you're in love with somebody, you'll be faithful. When you're in love with somebody, you'll be dedicated. Hallelujah. When you're in love with somebody, you'll be motivated. Glory to God. And I'm here to tell you, I'm in love with my wife. But I'm so in love with Jesus. I said, I'm so in love with Jesus.
Come on. Come on. That'll do them in. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. It ain't over till God says it's over. Amen. I don't care what the sign says. Amen. I don't care what CDC says. My God is good. Yeah. If I should get sick and I get attacked, let me tell you something. My God's still going to be good. Yeah. I'll tell you why. He's a doctor when you're the sick man. When you're sick, you got a doctor in the house. He's a lawyer in the courtroom. He's a friend that sticks closer. Let's 
blessed shall thou be in the city. And yeah. blessed shall thou be in the field. That means wherever you go, the blessing's going to chase you down. City, field, suburb, wherever you are, God's going to be everywhere. And his blessing is going to chase you down. Blessed shall thou be in the city and in, in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. That's your children. And the fruit of thy ground. That's your crops. And the fruit of thy cattle. And increase of thy kind. And the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Amen. Oh! Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh. The storehouse will never be empty. Amen. No Set your storehouse will never be empty.
establish you a holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his way there's a condition of the blessing and that's obedience to the Lord Amen. see there were two things God had to teach yeah. his people in the wilderness the first thing was humility yeah. because you can't teach anybody it's not humble yeah, that's right. If you're if you're not humble, you're unteachable. Amen. I've seen them in the church. You can teach them nothing of the Word of God. They so you know, you can't tell them nothing about the Word of God. But when you get somebody that's humble, God will be, he'll provide. He'll teach you. He'll teach you the Word of God. Can you say amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He had to teach them humility. He had to teach them humbleness. And then you know what the second thing was? He had to teach them to have 100% total dependence on Him. They had to rely on Him beyond their own knowledge, beyond their own ability. They had to depend on the Lord. And it's no different for you and I today. Hallelujah. we got to depend on Him because He will provide. It wasn't because he didn't know their hearts. Yeah. But it's because they didn't know their own hearts. That's right. Hallelujah. Let me read on. Boy, get gooder and good. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'll get to the message in the third hour. Okay. All right. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. Oh, Can people see that you are called by the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. I raise my hands and praise the Lord. I'm called by the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord shall make you plenteous in goods. Amen. You'll be bountiful. Hallelujah. I want to live in bountifulness. I want to live in abundance yes. because my Bible tells me Jesus said I, I came to give life but I didn't only come to give life I came to give an abundance of life and I want the abundance too can you say amen yes. has it not been good yes. oh, my God. Oh, the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure now I, see I wanted to read this that you would capture this and know that this is for you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This is for every single individual. Yeah. Amen. If you'll follow the Lord. Right. Yeah. Has it God been good? Amen. Amen. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. <laughs> the heaven to give the rain unto the land in his season. And to bless all the work of your hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, Amen. glory. When did that come to you for help? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. If Israel would have stayed with the Lord in obedience, they would have never lacked in one thing, and nations would have come to them. Hallelujah. Only to borrow. Because they had plenty. Because the Lord Jehovah was their provider. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. But what I like about it, and this is my favorite. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Amen. 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 That's what I thought all year, last year long. We are the bride of Christ. Yes. We are the blood-bought church. We're not designed to fold up and cave and shut the, uh, shut the doors of the church and lock it up. We've been made to head. We ought to be coming in the forefront of this thing. We've been made to head, not to tail. And I want the devil to hear that this morning. We are the head, not the tail.
I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. Hasn't God been good?
Krishna.